hard. It's a hard job. You've got long arms. You see? Whew, wow. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? You look beautiful. Thanks, baby. I love you. Stunning, you're handsome. Me. Thank you, baby. Guys, actually, what you just did is the topic of our video. What? <laughs> you just kissed me on the forehead. Because. <laughs> because. <laughs> we are not kissing before marriage our first kiss will be on our wedding day and yep. yes i know that sounds crazy yep. but there's so much depth to why we made that decision and just how powerful of a decision it's been yep mm -hmm. and we want to share everything about why mm -hmm. and we should start with how how did we get there the moment, the moment. so it was a rainy day mm -hmm. it was our I don't, I don't know. It's like two weeks after meeting each other for the first time, already dating, mm -hmm. and it was raining. And I told Kayla, I knew exactly what was about to happen. And I told her, babe, pull in this parking lot. And she did. She was so obedient, and she turned left and she pulled right there. And I got out of the car run to her side she got out of the car and we literally danced in the rain it was our the moment mm -hmm. we got in the car we were all wet we were laughing we were happy mm -hmm. and it just hit me it hit us and i say i think we should save our first kiss until marriage mm -hmm. that we should like be dating yeah without kissing yeah what was your response well, we were just saying like we just felt so much peace about the decision and we felt like it was really from the Lord and there was a grace on yes. it and that's how we felt ever since that day. There's yeah. just been a grace yeah. about it because we really truly feel yeah. that it was him leading us, not yeah. just us making it up. Exactly. And that's our first point. Mm -hmm. It should be spirit led. Mm -hmm. Boundaries like this because we really felt that God called us. We not just felt peace, but at that moment when he said, yes, we're doing this, we mm -hmm. actually felt joy, which yeah. makes no sense because it's so mm -hmm. hard and so mm -hmm. impossible, especially today. Yeah. But we felt so much joy of making that decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, point number one is just, this has to be spirit led. Yeah, and the reason behind that is if you make a decision that's not spirit led, it's gonna be really hard because you're not gonna have the grace. And yeah. also just because we are not kissing until marriage doesn't mean that every Christian couple that kisses yeah. before marriage is doing it wrong. Of course. The reason why is because God knows each relationship and each person intimately, and he knows the best boundaries mm -hmm. for each couple. So that's another reason yeah. why you can't take somebody else's prescriptions for the most yes. part. Of course, it's like, we're not gonna have sex until marriage. There's certain things we don't do, but whether or not it's hand-holding, kissing, you know, being in the a room alone together, all those things should be directed by the Lord. Yes, because when he tells you, he mm -hmm. will empower you yeah. to do it. And when you try to do it with your own strength, oh, mm -hmm. we don't want to kiss until marriage, but it's your wish. Forget it. And you want to make an idol out of that. Yeah, forget it's, it. It's not going to work. No. It's no. not going to work. So yeah, find out where your boundaries are. Yeah, because it's yeah. hard. It's hard. Um, another point that we want to make is like, and I think we can both relate to yeah. it. Sometimes <clears throat> we hear in the church all the time, right? Don't have sex until marriage. And we look at physical things as almost like a dirty thing. But the fact of the matter is when God gives us instructions mm -hmm. on things to do and things not to do, mm -hmm. it's not because he's a controlling father and yeah. he's trying to, you know, control us like robots. But on the contrary, he knows what these actions are going to do to ourselves, to others, yeah. and to his heart. So the reason why he tells us, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that, is actually out of his goodness and out of his loving kindness that he's trying to protect our hearts. Yeah. And it's huge and it's important. And when you have that mindset shift, it is easier to walk in purity yeah. because you know he's not telling you not to do something because he's being controlling, yeah. but instead he's loving you and he's trying to protect your heart and protect your future. Protect your heart from being broken. He's yeah. protecting you from soul ties. Yeah. He's protecting you from losing innocence, mm -hmm. from feeling used. Yeah. God is protecting us. Yeah. He is protecting us. Yeah. It's so important. And also, he is also teaching us how to not 
overemphasize our bodies mm -hmm. and our fleshly desires because we want to live by the spirit and not by the flesh. That's so good, babe. And because of that, <clears throat> you have to rely on other things and build a foundation on other things instead yeah. of the physicality of a relationship. Yeah. So if you get into a disagreement or you don't feel connected to your person, instead of going straight to like a physical thing yeah. that's sexual, whether or not it's making out or you know yeah. anything like that, when you do that, you're actually not learning how to work through things as a couple, as a healthy couple. Yeah. You're defaulting yeah. to, as my babe said, like these fleshly bodily things. Yeah. So when you have, again, boundaries de like designated by the Lord, yeah. you're then able to really set up the strong foundations for your strong marriage. Strong foundations, and then you are searching for a deep connection mm -hmm. on things that are not physical. Yeah, and that good. are, as you said, these are then foundations yeah. that are going to carry your relationship and your marriage throughout your whole life. Because so dating, and was the word courting? Yeah, yeah. Is building foundations. That's so good. It's building foundations. Yeah. So, and yeah. one thing we love is we call them like, I can't wait until statements. Yeah. yeah. And again, it's just shifting your mindset. Like God is protecting us. And instead of being like, oh, well, we can't kiss until marriage. Instead, it's like, I cannot wait until that day when yeah. we're at the altar, surrounded by our family and friends and before God. Before God. And we're creating this union between us with Jesus that so that will be our first kiss. Yeah. It's magical. Or like you say it all the time, like we can't wait to wake yeah. up to yeah. each other. We can't wait to share that moment under the covenant of marriage. And yeah. it is a privilege and it's an honor and it is a holy, yeah. sacred thing that we now get to be a part of yeah. together. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I think you said everything so well. I don't have anything <laughs> oh, to add. So it's cute. a beautiful thing, guys. Yeah. Because yeah. then when that kiss comes and whatever comes, it's going to come under the covenant. Yeah. It's going to come under the sacrament. It's going to come under something that's holy. And we, we always say, I cannot Thank wait you. to have our first kiss. I cannot wait to kiss you first thing in the morning. Yeah. You preserve so many things to that yeah. moment that you're going to share with God in a covenant. It's so good, babe. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's so good. Yeah. And I know our hearts um, in general, we just really truly believe in living in purity and what that represents. Yeah. But we want to give each of these videos the time that it deserves. Yeah. So even let us know in the comments if you would be interested in a series about boundaries or purity. Because again, it's something that we have gone through and that like, let's be real, all young couples are gonna face these questions, these battles, how do you do it in a holy yeah. way, but how do you still grow connection with your person? Yeah. There's so many questions many that questions. we had that just know that we understand where you're at and we would just love to eventually create more videos like this and yeah. just really even hone in even more, right? Even Biblically more. on even what more. these things say. Biblically go deeper. Yeah. And we're actually talking about, we're gonna do a video, like how to create intimacy Oof. outside of the bedroom. Ooh, better say it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> better say it. Because if you're searching intimacy yeah. just physically, not gonna end up well. So we need to find the ways how to be intimate outside of the bedroom. You better preach, baby. <laughs> so he's so wise. I love him. I love her. Oh, I love, I love. Yep. So yeah. yeah, this is the kiss. This is the only thing I'm getting. We joke that our noses and foreheads are probably the most <laughs> kissed noses and foreheads in the world. But can I say one more thing? Yep. As a woman, yep. with us making this decision with the Lord. I've never felt more cherished and loved and respected. Cause like you said earlier, babe, it's not about our bodies. Like I genuinely just feel so safe knowing that I have a man of God who listens to the Lord and yeah. follows the Lord and looks at me as, you know, again, something to be cherished and mm -hmm. for our physical relationship to right. not really <clears throat> take place yeah. until marriage. And it just makes you feel so good. And so I love good. that about you. Thank you it's baby. so special. And one other thing I would say when you said good boundaries, like blah, an example, <laughs> <laughs> our example, example, um, when we don't kiss, I have to figure out a way to show her my love. Mm, that's so she good, has yeah. to figure out 
and be creative in ways yeah. to show me love. It's yeah. not just communication, connections. How can I show him that he is my number one? How sure. can I show her that he is my, sure. that she's my everything, that she's my princess without the physical things? So it just mm -hmm. unpacks so, so much. It begs so many like depths in your yeah. heart. It just, it literally chases you. It pushes you to like, put it, just yeah. pull it out of, out of, out of but what's happening it's okay. i'm just it's i'm okay. just so i'm, I'm so excited that we're sharing this it's yeah so you need to dig deep yeah that's so good and good. the fruits of of the fruits are amazing it's worth it it's worth, worth it. it it's worth it guys so, yeah yeah thanks for joining us again let us know in the comments if this is a topic that's important to yeah. you because like we said we just really have a heart and we feel a burden to talk about this more because it's such a prevalent topic in the church yeah. and sometimes we just don't hear enough young people yep. talking about it. So let us know. Let us know, guys. Yeah. We love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.